This video introduces the Air Management System Wireless Network Setup and Configuration. Although a system unit can be used as a standalone device, multiple units can also be set up as a wireless network. In order for the system hub to wirelessly connect to a remote, we first need to install the wireless adapter. To do this, secure the wireless adapter to the supplied bracket using the nut. Then, connect one end of the cable to the bottom of the wireless adapter. Connect the other end of the cable to the M8 connector labeled ADPTR. Then screw down the whole assembly to the system unit. Switch on the power and check the status LED on the wireless adapter, PWR will be a solid green color on both base and remotes. The WSS light will not light up for new base or remote devices that have not been paired. Each system device used needs to be set into pairing mode. Firstly, make sure that the power is on. Then, lift the display cover. And make sure that dip switch 4, in the settings 1 section, is in the off position. To put the system into pairing mode, perform the sequence, on, off, on. Two status LEDs on both the base and the remote devices will start to flash red. Connect to the web server. Once logged in, the web page shows the remote pairing window. Here you can see two sections, remote registration and free remote. Remote registration will show all remotes paired with the base, plus additional information, like unit name and product ID, including input and output sizes, and their paired status. Free remotes will list any available remotes, waiting to be paired. To add a remote to the base, just drag the up-down arrow symbol, of the correct device from free remotes, to remote registration. Then, click on right pairing to save these changes. To unpair a remote from the base, just simply drag the arrow symbol from remote registration to free remotes. And save these settings by clicking on right pairing. Next, set, dip switch 4, to off, on the base unit, to come out of pairing mode. The LEDs on the wireless adapters will change to green. And the web server will reset and prompt you to log in again. Thank you, this concludes this video on the air management system wireless network setup and configuration.